ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Interrogator, which is a very interesting modded survivor that I will go through the kit of now. So Interrogator is kind of unlike any survivor we've seen so far on this channel. If I use my primary, I take damage if I miss. I gotta make sure my attacks hit enemies because if I miss, they do damage to me instead. My secondary is a cleaver that I essentially kind of hit with a baseball bat, which is kind of great. Our shift ability not only dashes us, but also does hit enemies on the way by for a good amount of damage. And our special is where it gets interesting. So let me demonstrate how the special ability works. If this guy hits me, it's gonna hurt, but I'm gonna let it happen. Bang, I get got. Now he has an X on him, which means I can target him. Puts us in a 1v1 battle where no other damage matters. I cannot get touched by anything else until the battle ends, which is awesome. Does mean that I can't touch anything else until the battle ends, but it's a 1v1 to the death. So the goal of this survivor is to kill things, make sure you don't miss, and if an enemy hits you, I can essentially challenge it to a duel. The last piece of this uh, survivor is on the secondary. If I kill an enemy, with the uh, cleaver, hemorrhage goes to everything near it, which is super helpful. I mean, it's nothing huge, but that is really nice for AoE, kind of built into the kit by default. Also, the fact that we already have a ukulele means our AoE is just that much better. I would imagine on this kit, we're looking at a 1.0 proc coefficient across the board. So I accidentally locked onto the wrong guy. It's this guy I'm in a 1v1 battle with, but you guys can see nothing else can damage me until our battle is over which it is now, and now I can go back in and start to deal some damage. Now, of course, as always, if you guys want to try this out, I am on the most updated version of the game, and the link is in the description, and while you're there, hit that little subscribe button for me. What the heck am I looking at here? <laughs> what do you mean there's a yellow printer on stage one? Let's see what we got here into- ooh, I'll take that out of the void item for sure. Thank you muchly. And our final chest, we actually got a lot of stuff- ooh. Oh, that is kind of sad. Uh, we got a lot of stuff this stage, so I'm going to head over to Teleporter, and we'll see how good our abilities are against a boss enemy. You can also hemorrhage uh, yourself if you are too close to an enemy that explodes like this. Uh, all damage, essentially, can be done to myself. I have to be very careful about that. So you also can't dash backwards. I have to leave a radius and then kill him. Then I'm okay. Let's do the boss. I think I can also lock onto a boss in a 1v1 and stop myself from taking all damage. So I will 100% be trying that. I have to dash in and then let's 1v1, my good sir. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> Look at the damage. Nothing else can touch me during that whole time either. That is absolutely disrespectful. I can dash through again, 1v1 again, and I am invincible, and the boss can simply be destroyed. Don't mind me. <laughs> and my attack speed increases as I do it, which is just disgusting. Oh, we weren't given a yellow. A Molten Perforator at this stage in the game would have been crazy, but hey, beggars cannot be choosers. This is a very fun survivor so far. The idea is very aggressive. You have to be in, you gotta be in the zone near enemies, mostly a melee survivor. And the 1v1 battles, like you've gotta be up in there and you're gonna be in the fray the entire time. And if you're not, you're missing. And also those of you who are watching on like TV speakers or even like a phone, probably can't tell, but the base in these attacks, they are funky. Ooh, I feel like I gotta do this. We lost, oh, those are three good items, I can't lie. But shurikens on this guy are going to be lovely, and that is not where I want to go. I'm going to let Newt decide. And we were given a Felion anyway. Ooh, okay, uh, shurikens not as good as I thought. I still damage myself, even if I hit the shuriken. I know I was missing there for a while, but even if I hit the shuriken, I still do damage myself. So something I got to consider if I go like this. Ouch, that one hurt a little bit. I will say the, uh, the cleaver... Very hard to hit on little enemies. Very, very small hitbox. Very, very easy to miss and go through. That one did hit, though. That's good. All right, I'm going to 1v1 this guy if I can aim it correctly. Give me. Yeah, there it is. No, 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 no. You're mine. You're mine, sir. 
You are mine. Give me the win. Oh, you just uh, the 1v1 stands no chance because every other enemy is completely useless. All right, finally things are cleared. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, I'll take a little bit of speed. I cannot lie, there are a lot of enemies, and I am getting overrun a little bit. I need a little more AOE than the ukulele, it would seem. But a focus crystal is gonna do what I need, very much so. Trying to get a couple shots off while I'm far away, because a lot of these enemies... I don't really want to deal with... We got our AOE, we got gasoline. Also, I'm realizing knockback fin is bad, because it knocks enemies into the air. So it also causes me to miss and then I hit myself, which is just not that good. Ooh, and a cloaked chest comes through with the radar scanner. There are still a lot of enemies though. All right, I, I cannot stick around for this long. See, now we're starting to get some good items. We get another wrap. We got some crit. Roll of pennies is fine. We're starting to stack up. And with that, we are ready for teleporter. I think we've looted the entire place, but I, I, well, I, I can check. Did we? Oh, we missed one thing. That was a printer. I will get that after. We are given Clay Dune Striders, which I would like to uh, single-handedly defeat. Just sitting here. Do not mind me. Nothing else can touch me. I'm just going to hang out for 10 seconds. Good, and get me out of here. Uh-oh. Whoa, uh -oh, this is bad. We got to go. We got to go. We got to go get me out of this freaking area. Okay, we're good. We're good. Let me get back in here. I'm going to try to get the same one, actually, if I can. Yeah, that'll work. I'll see you. No, no, I'll see you later. No, that's it. No, you're done. You're done. You're done. You're done. See you later. Now we got the AOE. We got the ukuleles coming in. I can simply dash up here and then just hang out. Hit the... Hit, oh, oh, oh. Hit this. Let me hit it. Let me, there it is. Now we just go to town. That is actually such a broken ability. And I'm really excited to see it work versus Mythrix. Are we going to die here? We almost just died. I can't lie. I cannot lie. We almost threw it away just like that. Get me out of the zone. Lepton Daisy coming in big. Oh, I would have loved to hit that. We're going to go shwink, and then we're going to lock in here, and this should do it. I got to get one dash up, and he's done. He's done. He's done. Okay, good, good, good. Easy. Why am I in the air? I'm stuck up here. Here we go. He's done. And we are given a legend's head. And the final piece. Okay, well... I didn't get Newt, but I'm gonna get rid of some stuff. Well, now I have, now I wish that I had gotten Newt. Uh, I have a great amount of scrap, but alas, we are off to stage three. Never punished like always we are given the Scorched Acres. One thing that I will say, uh, this survivor feels really tanky. Like, I feel like I can just kind of take whatever damage I want to and there's no consequence. I'm probably wrong and I will most likely eat my words, but that is how it feels. Ooh, backup mags? I'm gonna go into all three of those. I think that is going to be a huge help to get more range out without having new shurikens, which do hurt me more than I would like. I was correct. Having more of the cleavers is lovely, uh, and I'm very happily printed into that. I don't know if we'll touch what's in there. I don't know if that matters a ton. Uh, we maybe, we may, we may mess around with that a little bit, but I do kind of like having the missiles, and I don't think the blast shower for the value of our bottled chaos really matters that much. I will, however, do one of these, do one of these, a couple of baseball bats over, oh, this is gonna be great, we got a void key now? Ooh, and another void cradle, come on, something absolutely amazing. I actually will take needle tick with a couple of bleed already, I'm feeling good. I can't lie, at this point in the game, our AoE is absolutely massive. <laughs> I don't even need to try. Teleporter is right down here. I want to make sure we didn't miss any items near it, but I think we are good to go. We got new, we got scrappers, let's do this thing. We were also given the Grove Tendy Boy, which if we are able to turn this into a uh, little disciple. I am going to be absolutely magnificently pleased if I do say so myself. Go, 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 go. Dash through. Our AoE's nuts. I cannot lie to you. Our AoE with all of this stuff is crazy. And I'm so glad it is because Grove Tenders can be very spooky on that front specifically. I'm just in here right now attacking at light speed, hoping to get a bunch of collapse involved. Oh my goodness, which I, I did. I, I did. I'll tell you right now, I did. We're hoping for a yellow down here. Oh my god, I'm... <gasps> oh my god, how do we live that? I forgot that we can do damage to ourselves and the prion got me. How are we alive? I need to... Oh, we didn't get yellow. Okay, we did get a green item. I'm realizing bottled chaos might be a little bit spookier 
than I was imagining. At least I think the prion is what hit me. I didn't really notice in the moment, and then I was collapsed. I'm surprised I didn't die by the collapse, but, um... We're alive, and I guess that's all that matters. Call me a crazy lad. I'm getting rid of it. I do not need it. I do not want it, and I'm scared to have it. And in Newt, we were... Ooh, don't have much interest in that, but I do have interest in that. We did lose the crit, which is kind of tragic. Cannot lie. But we can proc bands with our cleaver. This... I don't think we're going to do that. And we land on Abyssal with a Void Seed with nine monsters. Not exactly what I'm looking to see, but I don't hate it. Oh, and we're given a Jaros Band out of the first chest, so double banded up. On a Sunday afternoon is when I'm recording this. We are ready to move. End of the game. Gave us fireworks, and I am a happy lad. God, do I love fireworks, and do I love fireworks. I mean, come on, dude. Fireworks is such a good item. How is it? No, I just wanted to every run I ever have. One thing that I'm embarrassed that I'm just realizing now, but I am just realizing now, my primary is agile. I can do it while I'm sprinting. I feel like all of you probably noticed that immediately. Uh, I did not, so that's a fun fact for you. We got our crit back. We're feeling pretty good up in here. We got, <laughs> I love the fact I just send those cleavers out like it's nobody's business. And our AoE can clear a whole area. I got shurikens going. Oh, what a lovely run. All right, we are out amongst the rest, and there are 10 void monsters now. Great. They added one somehow. Void cradle as well. Give me something good. To okay, a little more needle tick. Never hurt anybody. Oh, no. That is not what I'm looking forward to seeing right now. I don't like that even a little bit. Yikers. Ah, uh, that. Okay, now I'm... The emotion I'm experiencing is fear. All right, we got him. <laughs> I was so focused, I didn't say a single word, but I did get him. Another focus crystal joins the ranks. We have eight monsters left. I do see some garbage, which I'm gonna guess is where the uh, the additions came from. I will, however, do a little bit more ukulele action. All right, I'm gonna lock onto this guy, so I only have to worry about him now. This is actually a really good usage of this ability on defense. Because none of these other aerial bronzongs can touch me. Uh-oh. Am I hit by something? No, we're good. There are like four of them here, but none of them could touch me because I was just dealing with the big threat. It's actually a really cool mechanic that I feel like has a high skill ceiling that I have not eclipsed yet, but it is there. Well, I don't like you at all. I need to get you. I just, okay, there we go. Let's get a little bit of fireworks in the air. A little bit of damage flying around. Oh, you are another disposal missile launcher, I think... There might have been an, uh, an equipment drone somewhere on here. That I'm not sure, but I will keep my eye out. Oh, I got him. Hey, no worries about that one. <laughs> yeah, the amount of range I have now for a non-ranged survivor with all my shurikens and all my cleavers, it's actually really nice. Like, it's actually, it's really good. Uh, I, I would assume most of the time it's not meant to be played this way, but I'm gonna take it because it's here. And after all of this, I still have six void monsters remaining. What are we doing? We're at 45 minutes. Wait. Who let me take this long? We're at 45 minutes in. We do have 9,000 gold. So I can, I should get to looting. I'm just kind of running around killing things. Because I will be honest, it is fun. But I kind of have to focus and work on the loot. And by loot, I mean this guy. What do you got for me? Gimme, gimme, gimme. That is the saddest thing that I have maybe ever seen. We do have our void key, which I am going to be greedy and open now, but there's so much around here. Why are there so many enemies? I just want to open my void key. Is that so much to ask? I just want a poly loot to pop in, or even a plimp would actually maybe be better, because I do kind of like our ukuleles at the moment. But let's just, you know, let's relax on the front of all the enemies, and let me just do a little looting, you know? One thing I can do is I can focus on one enemy. Yeah. Only one enemy can hurt me while I'm in there. Oh, that was way genius. That was genius play. I locked in on one enemy for a 1v1, and only that enemy could touch me, so I could kind of loot mostly freely, and guess who was plimped up? Oh, it's me. I, I, I just got plimped. It, it was me who was plimped up, in case you didn't know. I, I am. Yeah, here we go. I'm going in. We got to get these two out of here. You're gone. You're gone. And we are in the clear. This is definitely not a fast run. I will tell you that for certain. But, ooh, oh, that's a pillar skip. I see the teleporter, and there is a lot behind me. <laughs> there is so much on this map right now that it wants to kill me very badly. I think we'll be fine with our AoE once we're actually in the teleporter. It's like when we're kind of out in the open and we got enemies here, enemies there, it's harder. But now, 
everything is gonna spawn here. I mean, how do we lose? We got Stone Titans too. I can just do this, and I can lock onto this guy, and then it's over. I mean, it's. I mean, what what do they even do to me? I just sit here and I just eliminate the Stone Titan. And now I think it's dead. We use our things. We go in here. I see an Elder Lemurian, which I am scared about, and let's lock in and just go crazy. I do still have to be careful about um, not like letting myself miss too many attacks because I am taking a lot of damage doing that I will say that starts to later in a run really affect your health and I gotta watch it pretty carefully so I don't mess up and then just all of a sudden die out of nowhere we still got a lot here big enemies are gone but yikes why there's just so much here that I need to worry about we are 82% but it is getting so dicey at this point in the game and if I miss attacks it can get even spookier so I'm just gonna go in here dash through everything hope my aoe can cover look at the amount of damage that i take all right i can't lie i'm a little bit too scared i am just going to hit this portal and i'm out of here as quick as i can possibly be all right the helmet hatchery begins now uh i don't know if i like this map still kind of to be determined but we'll see how we do i will be honest this is one of the hardest survivors i've ever played for the sole reason that I damage myself and that means like items that I have so like fireworks for example if I stand on a chest and then open it I could just die because <laughs> the fireworks running into me which I'll be honest is a little bit weird and maybe that's why you have to do something like this and focus in an enemy and kill it but if I go here and I'm not careful the fireworks can hit me and almost kill me oh no there's an imp overlord now just hanging around this could be this could prove problematic there is uh there are bosses spawning i just gotta find teleporter and do it i have no idea where it is though and i am getting hit by i think my own gasoline oh if this is a poly loot though just imagine how in business we are hold on Ooh, lysate cell um eh, it doesn't really do much for me but i don't have fuel cells anyway this doesn't really matter wow i do not like what is going on here now i do have another chance at a prion i don't know if that's what i want to do i think that sounds very frightening i think teleporters all the way up here i've been going forever it feels like let me just do one of these oh my goodness get out of here teleporter i see particles nearby let me do chant shrine first we're gonna try to get some fireworks killing things i don't know i'm so scared we get a legendary <gasps> runic lens on high damage don't increase chance for a meteor attack i'll be honest I don't really know if that's good or not, but it sounds like it could be. I'm going to hit this, though. I'm going to use everything I got. If we die, we'll still go to Mythrix, but I have to at least try my best here. Oh, my goodness gracious. I'm so scared. We are going to have to cope this a little bit, but look at the map right now. If I can get my AoE going, we're in a great spot, but just the, the, the that part's the hardest part. And we have an Elder Lemurian stuck in the teleporter, which I don't love i can hang out down here for a little bit though but this is so unbelievable all right this is coming along it's not the smoothest you've ever seen but damage is being dealt to the big bad bosses this one's almost dead actually oh wait you're so close oh we got one oh, wait i don't know if that was a boss one. Oh, that one is teleporter is at 99 good 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 we are so close right now i do still want to loot the stage so i am going to try to clear some stuff out but I got to get the Imp Overlord first. We are so close. Wait, I my missiles. Here we go. Here we go. We are very, very close. Come on. 2,000 HP. You're out of here. You're still alive. There's no way, dude. You're gone. Okay, good. What do we get for our item? That is... Uh, oh, I thought it was another band. It is just a band O'Lear. Now, I will slowly but surely begin to remove everything else from the map and then... Ooh, we're gonna do a little bit of looting because we need it now i'll be honest i don't think we've looted everything in fact i don't think we've looted much i think there's just a lot left but i just don't have any interest in this map oh wait here's a drone and i'm out and so to the moon we land i need to go check out soups 100 percent because i would like to trade in my red for a bunch of whites and i do have green scrap for another red so i'm gonna go look and i'll let you know what i find we got an alien head up there which is okay we got bands i don't know if we have much for white scrap so i don't think i'm gonna be printing greens wow we this is lackluster all right well for our red i will grab this guy because we do have a free one i thought that was drone parts it is a goddamn 
brain stock, so I guess we'll do laser skull? Just a little host skipping, don't mind me. And perfect. <laughs> Flawless host skip. Here we go. I, I don't really know how this is going to go. I think our special ability is going to come into play during phase three. Maybe a little bit phase two, but phase one, I don't really think it does anything at all for us, to be honest. So we're just going to jump in and start doing some work. Now, this is not the best setup, I'll be honest, because we kind of have to be in direct melee range to do anything. However, I can do this and start to up. Okay, see, this is what we have when we die. Ooh, okay, and get closer. Bing, bing, bing. Okay, yeah, see, I don't know if this is going to go very well <laughs> because everything does a lot of damage to us and we are barely chipping away at this guy. So this might just be a little shuriken battle or or it'll end phase one. <laughs> I don't like any of the options. Okay, okay, sir. Sir, it appears, it appe now I don't want to jump to conclusions, but it appears that we may have ended up perhaps on the wrong foot okay woo let's relax we are friends we can be we could be friends like it could be chill if you want to uh, i mean it's up to you you know i'm not gonna force you to do anything you don't want to do we could be friends here he did jump we got one jump out of him but i have a feeling this is going to take a uh, fucking forever another jump another dollar we get in and i go bink and do a little bit of work i don't know why i dashed actually because i can't get out when i do that but i'm just continuing to go in this zone because then when I miss, I don't do damage to myself. And that is oddly very important because shurikens are kind of our win con. Okay, I don't like being up here, my good sir. I'm afraid of heights. Could you leave me on the ground, please? I'm starting to think now that the grab of Lysate Cell actually was not that bad of an idea. Because now I can kind of perpetually be in the attack zone. Where I can kind of always be in a 1v1 and not deal damage to myself, which is very helpful. Uh, so I'm actually liking that play. We know we didn't have any fuel cells anyway, but it's pretty helpful now. I'll be honest though, this does feel incredibly cinematic, us fighting like this. It, it is cool. Okay, whether or not it's gonna be easy, that's a different story, but it is fun and it is a cool battle and he is kind of kicking my ass a little bit here and there, but we are putting some work in. Now he has jumped a lot, which will mean, oh, Okay, will mean quite a few pizzas we have to avoid. So that's something I will be keeping in mind for sure. But the chip battle, I mean, I'm winning the chip battle. We are so close. There it is. Okay. Okay. I've killed my enemy. <laughs> that's not helpful. You know what could be cool actually is using it against a small enemy on phase three and then Mythrix can't do damage to me. That might end up being the play. Because I think that could actually keep us in contention to take the W. All right, this isn't the cleanest battle ever, but it's working, and I am doing the business. So now I can hang out, right? Now I don't have to worry about anything. I can kill this guy whenever I would like to, and now I'm not safe anymore. But it's, that is a good way to avoid damage. I, I did realize, yeah, if I lock onto a little guy during phase three... I won't be able to damage Mithrix, but I can at least, like, avoid pizza damage. Oh, we are slicing and dicing right now. All right, we are almost done with this phase. What do we have left? Probably a golem hiding in the corner. Yep, golem hiding, and that is it. And that will do it. Okay, Mithrix, phase three. This is going to be very difficult. Uh, I hope it goes well. I would like to lock on, please, immediately. Okay, 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 okay. Can I lock onto a bad? Okay. We got to very much watch out for ads and for other nonsense going on. I can't get too ahead of myself, even though I'm relatively confident about it. We still got to be careful. Wow, we are not doing much. I mean, we are chipping, right? We are chipping away. Do not get me wrong. We are moving a little bit, but we are not doing a lot of damage. Uh oh, worried about this one. Stay up in the air. That was clean. That was clean as fuck, and you know it. The first jump has happened, and I, I do not feel confident. I do not feel confident in this. However, during pizza, I will say I can kind of lock on to anything. Let me lock on. Oh, there's a range to lock on. Are you joking? Can I lock on? Okay, now we can't get hit by pizza, which is great. So I can just kind of hang out. Don't have to worry about it. And then we can start doing damage to like this guy, for example, or whoever. Yeah, we locked onto this guy here. Might as well put some work in. Now, something tells me this is not going to go very well as we kind of continue to put in some work. Okay, but we are barely getting through phase three and there are many enemies around and we got pizza coming in. Oh my goodness, the run is going to end here, I swear. <laughs> oh my goodness. 
this it, it can't end well. There's way too much going on. We are not powerful enough for this. I will go up here, though, I guess. I will hang out right here, if that's cool with you. Ladies and gentlemen, like the video. All right, this might this might be the end. This could this could do it. This could potentially this could potentially get us there. Uh or I pull out the greatest win you have all ever seen. Oh my god, there's no way. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the time lapse. That took goddamn forever. I tell you right now, my hands wet. Absolutely soaking wet. I mean, I am sweating. Am I hitting him? I don't think I'm hitting him. Oh, I hit him there. This is going to be my win con is my missiles and just getting a couple items. But where do my missiles go? Mistles, did you not go toward my guy? Oh, I got Wongus back. That's a little helpful. This is going to be so frightening, though. More missiles. Come on, come on, come on. Hit him there. Come on, missiles. Hit him. Get him, get him, get him. Good, 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 good. Okay. We got to get out. And we got another set of missiles. Go get him. Go get him. Go get him. Can I hit him with this? I don't think I hit him, but missiles go in. Yeah, 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 yeah. Give me something big. Give me a band. Shuriken. <gasps> Shurikens are back in my grasp. I think we can't lose. Now I can start to throw some shurikens at him. Oh, I didn't quite hit him. Hold on. Oh, I am hitting myself there, which is scary. That's the scary part is I'm close to him, but I think I'm okay if I can just get like one shuriken off. Am I hitting him? Oh, there we go. There's some hitting. More missiles. This will be a great set of missiles. Go in, go in, go in. Big items coming in. Antlers. Okay. Bang. I don't know if that hit at all. Okay, okay. We got a focus crystal back. That's kind of a good one. He really can't touch us as long as we're being safe and smart about this. Gas doesn't help much, but we're getting close. Oh, I risked it all right there, but I'm gonna go in, gonna go in, hit him with the thing. Oh, hey now, hey now, hey now. Ooh, that was scary. We got a lot back. Missiles coming out. These are gonna be big missiles right now. I don't have fireworks back, so the drone doesn't... <gasps> Thank goodness I have my bands back. Wait just one moment. We are going to dash upwards. Hit him. Hit him. No. Absolutely no shot, right? Please get up in the air. Good, 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 good. Oh, get up in the air, dude. I'm so scared right now. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on. Hold on. He's looking at me. He's looking at me. Get him. There's another shuriken. Nothing too crazy. We can take this slow. There's no reason to rush. There's another fire band. Didn't really stick to him. Come on. He's done. I'm taking him out. Oh, oh, my goodness. I have never in my life been so goddamn locked in. Let's go charge the ship. And as we charge the ship, I shall wrap up the video. Goddamn, I hope y'all enjoyed. That was a sweaty one. Go leave a little like, little comment on the video just for funsies. Because this one was a longer one than usual. And uh, as I said before, make sure you're subscribed. Mod link in the description if you want to try it yourself. And with that being said, I hope you all enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.